I know. It's windy, so I might hit him with my I'm here at Charm City Skate Park, chilling with your boy Third IT, and this is what the f we doing. Yeah. Hey, hey. let's get it. Running up, running up, running up, sitting on lot, probably fucked the whole summer up. Running up, running up, running up, shouting her body, so I had to pump her up. Running up, running up, running up, she wanna fuss with the liver and lumber truck. Running up, running up, hey, hey, running up, running up, hey. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Third IT, and you are tuning into another episode of What the F They Doing. Today, I pulled up to the Charm City Skate Park located in East Baltimore, but I ain't gonna lie, it's a little afraid out, so you feel me? But I'm with the highlight of my man Kenny as we talk about his skateboarding brand and just the overall process of the journey in general. If you haven't already, tune into the other videos and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, let's just see what the f we doing. All right, so before we begin the interview, I usually do 30 second pitches with everybody. So basically that's all that is. You're just giving off a 30 second pitch on, if somebody's not familiar with you or your work, this is a way to get yourself out there for anybody who's watching. So let me know when you're ready. Man, listen, find me on IG at Psych Skateboards, P-S-Y-C-H-S-K-A-T-E-B-O-A-R-D-S. -E I ain't really gonna do a big pitch, you know? You can find the hot shit there. You wanna get it? Come fuck with us. You feel me? I love everybody and I hope everybody support it. How you doing? Good. You not skating? No, this yeah. is my daughter's. You gotta get out here with us. <laughs> All right, time, time, time. So my very first question is, uh, where are we at and how significant or like what is significant about this place to you? So, shit, this is, that's a good question. We at Tom City Skate Park. Really we at the bottom of Board Brewery. Located? In the back of Tom City Skate Park. This is where it all starts like, 
this the only indoor skate park in Baltimore. This the only place in Baltimore to get boards made. This where I do everything at. This like home base. So how do you feel about it being the only indoor pub? Like how do you feel about that? Personally, I feel like it sucks. Uh -huh. I feel like it should be way more like parks, like indoor at least, because you gotta drive over west. You got people coming from down there, everywhere, Hagerstown, all that, just mm -hmm. to come skate here. So this really the only indoor park in Maryland, really. Would you open up your home? Hell yeah. What would you call it? The Ward. The Ward. Why? Cause like my brand is called Psych, mm. and you know the Psych Ward is where people go crazy at. So when you pull up to the Ward, you it's time to go crazy. It's only one option. Okay. So how long have you been skateboarding? Me personally, I just hit my two year mark mm. about. I think it might have been today, truly. Mm. I'm some booty though. So how did you like learn? Like, are you, even though you said that, like, what's your learning process? Uh, I keep a good group of guys around me that got a deep bag, you know? Uh -huh. So I just kind of watch. And from me recording everything, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of catalog to dig through and just hone in, lock in and watch it. Like a study session, you know, like I'm a, I'm a quarterback and I'm gonna go watch the film later tonight. Okay. All right, so what's the best thing about skateboarding? Unlike any other sport, for real, like every sport is just back and forth. It's like one common goal, you know what I'm saying? With skateboarding, there's no, it's no holds on nothing. You can motherfucking try to kick flip this whole bench right here. There's no hold. It's, it's off the wall, for real. Not a, not a Vans promo. promo. Alright, so let's talk about Psych a little bit. Let's talk more about the brand. So, for those who don't know, it started off as a clothing brand. So, like, talk about your transition from it being a clothing brand to what it is now. Honestly, man, clothing wasn't it. Like, it's hard to get that shit out. Uh -huh. It's hard to sell clothes. So, I was like, you know what? I'm spending $60 each week on these skateboards. I got a graphic artist. I got a graphic design degree. Why not put that shit to work and start my own skate brand? And then I, I just started making skateboards. Mm -hmm. But it seems like you still got the merch for skateboards. So like, is, oh. is, is merch still a factor to you a little bit? Very much so. What's up, son? How you feel? I'm sorry. You want to show that to the camera or something? Huh? I don't know. Uh, uh, put it over here. My son just got this fresh out the press. Oh, he was thirsty. Right. <laughs> take, take this over there. That's my nephew, Jose. All right, so real quick. My bad. Nah, what celebrity skater would you want to see with a cycle? Or what celebrity Perry would you want to see like in some psych merch or with their own personalized board? Who would it be? That man. That guy Bruce, if you know who that is. The streamer. Oh yeah, hella, yeah. Hella skateboards on his wall. So uh -huh. I would just want him to put it on the wall. What's the biggest event you can see yourself planning if you haven't already? <laughs> I actually do want to do a little contest here at Charm City, but mm, it's a couple uh, reasons why we haven't made that happen yet. Is it too much to uh, give us a teaser of what that contest would be? Uh, you know, probably a best trick, best run. I'm very like particular when it comes to my contest. Mm. I like everybody getting out there to be actually seen instead of crowding a whole bunch of people on them. I guess you would say the track at one time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do that and they miss shit from trying to overload their eyes. As you said. Right, my last question oh, is shit, my what is the best season to like skate? Like, what is it? Is it a particular season? You know how basketball you gotta play that like winter or something? Yeah, 
you can skate all year round. Mm. I would say probably the best season to skate is fall and spring. Simply because like it's warm, but it's not overbearingly warm. Like in the summer, I'm not coming outside to skate till about six o'clock when the sun going down. Cause as you can see, I'm a fair, you know, fairly dark guy. I'm trying to keep the melanin to a point, so I ain't trying to get burnt out there. And that's God on sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet, bet. Ooh. Side you get on? Whatever side. I'm laughing at Brian standing outside the window. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let me take it up front and you take a razor blade and clean all this stuff. Yeah. Hey. She's pretty. This man, Brian. This is a Another one, man. I'm not worried about that shit. Alright, that's what it comes off the razor. Alright. Why are you smiling so hard, yo? What? Jesus. <laughs> so for this last part of the interview, I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions that your Instagram followers have for you. Um the first question is not a question, it's just a comment from I love you, I hate you. He said your boys are getting better and better. So just just for a comment. Um I love you. I love uh you, love. who's next? I love you. Luz R Jr. I think. Luz, Luz. Oh Louis, uh his his name I don't know. Oh. Louise or something like that. He asked uh you is it any more signature text? As of right now, you feel me? I got some signatures like in the works. Signatures aren't based on, you know, like relationships with the skater and stuff like that. It's based on how hard they, they working. But I mean, I got some more signature colorways per se coming out, but as far as like a signature graphic for a specific person, not, not at the time. Okay. Uh, Big Dog Neon, he asks, how did you come up with the name and is there a deeper meaning to the brand? Alright, so truly, it, it, that, that's a great question. So to be honest with you, 100%, uh, like sometimes at night, you feel me, I'll, I'll have a dream about something. Mm. And then I, like I'll be sitting in the car a couple days, a week later, with whoever talking. And I'd be like, damn, this happened before. You feel me? And I, and I swear to God, that's real shit. So you feel me? That's like a psychic. So then I was like, on top of that, I want people to expand their mind. And I wanted to give a creative avenue to kids that, you know, they may never have tried before. So I was like, let's go with psych. C's? I'm gonna say C's. It's C, three three Z, three threes. C's, yeah, probably. C's. Um, they asked, what are some of Ben's Lowe's inspirations, and when did Psych begin? Uh, to be honest, Psych began as a clothing brand in 2019, but then. Like it developed into a skate brand late 2020, maybe 21. 
more so 21. Mm. Uh, I draw most of my inspiration from just like everyday stuff, you know. I do a lot of diving on the web, stuff like that. So if I see a picture, I like it. Mostly I just mimic it, draw it up myself and see how it go. Add a little pizzazz here, pizzazz there, you know. Okay. Uh, no, Chris, no copycatting though. No copycatting. No, no copy and pasting off anything. Google, shoes, whatever. If you copying and pasting, you're doing something wrong. So what's the right way to do it? You gotta be a hundred percent freehand by yourself. Like, it's always good to like have a designer. Mm. As opposed to myself, I do not. I do everything myself, but. You just gotta work on your originality. Okay. Um, Chris Skates, he asks, how does he design his boards? How do you design your boards? How do I design my boards? Yeah. So I got this iPad Pro, right? Get his ugly ass real quick. That's Jordy Nelson. What's up, yo? You late? Oh. Bro, I had to get a cup, bro. A cup? Bet Wado? How you feeling? Uh, All right, so. The way I design my boards, right? I got this iPad Pro. I use Procreate, draw all that up. After that, transfer it to the Photoshop on a MacBook. After that, I send it out to my guy and don't, don't kill me with this. Quay Zhang in China somewhere. They put it on a, a film. And that's how we get it going. Okay. Sparrow Barons X. Oh, why did you start the brand? Why did I start the brand? Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, man, I just wanted to give kids a creative avenue that they may have never, you, fuck, you feel me, thought about trying before. Or it's against the norm. Like, granted, I know people might see a lot of people nowadays out here skating and stuff like that. Back in my day when I was in school, they was like, yeah, you weird if you skating. Everybody wasn't wearing Vans. Now that's that's regular now. So, I mean, it may be coming around. All right, Al Boogie asks when you dropping, when y'all dropping A Park? The part gonna come when, I can't really give you the answers as I, this one is hopefully 2023 winner. Hopefully though. Okay. Fat boy switch flip. X. Oh, that's my guy. How did you get into skateboarding and what made you start your own company? Um, I think like when I was young, I always had a skateboard, but like I couldn't ollie, I couldn't do shit. So like I got discouraged. Then as a grown man, I think as my like New Year's resolution 21, I was like, yeah, I'm about to start skateboarding. Then I had already had the plan, you feel me? I just didn't have the platform. Mm. So I just went there to the platform with my plan and started my brand. I was like, we gonna take psych from clothing. Cause at that time, you know, I really wasn't putting nothing out as far as the clothing. I just was, I just had the previews and you know. All right. The Shepherd story asks, what would you like to see happen in the DMV skate scene? I would like to start seeing these DMV skaters like push themselves more. Like I know some of y'all don't skate for shops, some of y'all don't skate for nobody really, you know? But at the end of the day, your best advertisement it's gonna be yourself. Ain't nobody gonna push you like you can push yourself. So, I just wanna see a lot more respect for the DMV skate, uh, skate scene as opposed to the slander that we be getting. But that'll come with time as well. All right. Tyler School in the X, when's the video coming out? Hold on, let me check. So the video gonna come out. If you can see that, say uh, January. So when that's 
when I say December, that's when the video gonna come out. Wherever the time at. I mean a date. In December. And then when it get cold, we got footy to get over these hot months, man. Alright. Sloppy Joe. Bro, I'm gonna go see When are we gonna make a full length or a video showing off all the homies? Well, considering, you feel me, Psych is just not a local uh, skate crew, I guess you could call it. It's kind of hard to get everybody in the same place at one time. We got people in PA, we got people in literally the whole DMV, so once everybody get their transportation, or well, hopefully within the summer, you know, nobody gonna have a school. Like, yeah, I, I love my job, but fuck a job, you know? I'm gonna push these boards out 100%. So in the summer, everybody gonna link up, you feel me? And we gonna chop it up and get this film. All right. Scrimps asks, what's your favorite type of shrimp species? Shrimp. Ask your ask yourself that question. Cause I know you just play too much, yo. You play all day. Last question is from Steezy Star. They ask when new clips drop. You saw the video that you're watching right now, right? You seen the clips in the beginning. Or in the end, you see what I'm saying? Like, those was new clips, so we get new clips every day, every week. Like, what do y'all want from me? It seems like you have a strong fan base that, that, that want what they want. He's stubborn, man. All right, any last comments, anything, any last little emotions you All want right. to put out there? Yo, listen, if I can tell y'all one thing, man, look, we can all be great. Hey man, this is third IT man. We was locked in with my man Kenny here at Charm City Skate. This is what the f they doing.